looks like something leaked out of the ATV. Something black. Yeah, I don't. I think it's just water. Does it feel greasy? Is that coolant? Right here is your minimum line, and this is your maximum line. Look in there. Is there anything? Yeah, it's just below the minimum. Do we have any with us? No. Today's project is this ATV. It's losing antifreeze. And we're going to try and find out where it's coming from. You want to be my assistant in the video? I don't care. Okay. Clean enough. Yeah. See if we can do this without spilling too much. Can you see the tank? Good. All right, so we're going to just run this for a few minutes, let it heat up. We'll let it run for a minute. It does sound good. That V twin. That if it is a water pump seal, it could get into the engine oil and then destroy the engine and stuff. Watch your arm, Rich. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. It should come. It's hitting something on the way back. All the way at the back end of it, it looks like it's hitting something. Well, no, see, it's, I think it unlatches from here. Oh, okay. All right, there you go. The camera. So that's how that comes off. There's a tab here, right? Yep. And over here. Yep. Let's look down in here. You can't even see it yet. This is the oil filter right here. Below it is the water pump. No, the next would be to take this piece off. But I don't know if I want to do that yet, because I don't see anything leaking over there. Because you put that cap back on? Yeah, because I want it to build up pressure. All right, so today's the next day. We're just taking a look. I don't see anything don't under see here. Thing. Absolutely nothing, Rich. Not on this side, anyway. Nothing in the back. Nothing. I'll almost bet you that it was just overheating and it was bubbling out. It was coming out the overflow. The antifreeze overflow. Is that this? No, that's, no, that's it right there. This one. This one. This one right here. Yeah, so. 
can't tell where it goes. You know, it could be that the cover was all off, was loose or something, and it didn't hold the back pressure. It'll bubble it out when it gets hot. Who yeah. knows? Who knows? I don't see anything now, so that's good. I don't see a thing. So run it a little bit, see if the antifreeze goes down, see if it drips anymore. And that's it. We'll take a look at the... Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that, that transmission unless you feel something wrong with it. Well, it did kind of slip out of gear. I don't know if there's an adjustment on this linkage. I was going to do a little Googling on that. Yeah, I don't know either. Is that loose? No. Well, I finally decided that we should remove that footwell panel because that was the only way that I could see to access the oil fill plug and the oil drain plug on the gearbox. It's a bit of a pain in the neck, especially with a bad shoulder, but I just wanted to have peace of mind that all the fluids were at their proper levels for the upcoming season. You're going to use the impact gun, right? Yeah, I'm just going to zip them right out of there. take that plug out and we'll take a look at this plug right here. Where's the plug? Right? I guess. And that's going to be, let's see what size that is. Uh, 
15 millimeter socket. I'm just gonna take that off and see if there's... That's it. <laughs> so this should be the fluid. Right to that level. Yeah. right to the right level. So all that was to find out it was fine. <laughs> all that was to find out if it's fine. Yep. It's the right color. That's, that's just crap off the bottom of the freezer. Here, let me get you. Okay. There. Wipe your hands off. Well, now we know that's full. So we know that that's full. It wasn't tight, it was snug. Yeah. Because plastic just, will strip the threads real easy. It's just plastic. Yep. And that's it. So that's, um, that's full. There's nothing else to check? Nothing else to check. All the fluids are good. All right, well, let's see if we can get it back together. Checked all the fluids. Checked the leaks, can't find a thing. We're just gonna have to run it and keep an eye on it. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Don't worry about me. We're almost there. There's that big rock we're gonna bottom out on. We're here on the ATV, we're taking it for a little spin. <laughs> And we're making sure that uh, we give it a little test drive and when we park it, we'll see if any antifreeze leaks out of it. Yep. I'm riding on the back because, you know, I got a bad arm. <laughs> All right? Come yeah. on, you can make it, babe. I don't like that rock, honey. I think we're going to... Uh...